Welcome to the stage of Tuscaloosa's vibrant theater scene. Join us as we unravel the drama and celebrate the magic. This, this is, is the, the Crimson, Crimson Curtain, Curtain Chronicles. Chronicles. Hello everyone, welcome back to Crimson Curtain Chronicles. I'm Grace Davis. I'm Austin Davis. And welcome back to episode two. What are we talking about today, Austin? Uh, this episode, we're going to be talking about the uh, theater options here in Tuscaloosa. Okay. So, a lot of them. Yeah. There's a, my understanding is, for, as far as community theaters, there's really four main options, right? Yes. Okay. So I guess we can start off with uh, the ones that everyone wants to go see, the kids. Yes. Yes. There are technically all of them have involved kids okay but there are two that are strictly children and that is tuscaloosa children's theater and tuscaloosa theater troupe right <clears throat> but theater troupe doesn't it doesn't do shows all year round does it right it is only summer okay so it's um now mainly yeah so it is a week-long camp they have auditions and um they get cast and they come on, I believe they have a read through on like Sundays and then they have their very first full day rehearsal pretty much from morning till mid afternoon or so. Okay. Um, and they do that Monday through Friday. They have their first show Friday night and then they have uh, a couple of shows over the weekend as well, but they do some pretty, uh, really fun shows they've done like aladdin jr beauty and the beast moana finding nemo willy wonka so some very fun fun shows i think this next summer of 2024 they're doing mary poppins jr and lion king jr so some very entertaining nope. shows yeah. those will be really good that'll be a lot of fun so that's and there. So there's all camps, and then yes. the Tuscaloosa Children's Theater is year round. Year round. Uh, normally they do three shows a year: a fall show, a Christmas show, and then a spring show. So this season, their fall show was Cinderella, which I heard was a phenomenal show. Right. Um. For Christmas, they're actually having auditions this weekend. Um, so okay. October. Uh, this weekend is uh, let's see. yeah. The seventh, sixth, sixth is the Friday. So I think it's Thursday and Friday. They're having auditions for Elf Junior, based off of the famous Christmas movie Elf. Right. And uh, the spring show is going to be one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. I mean, our, our wedding was themed after it, Beauty and the Beast Jr. So, oh, it was Beauty and the Beast that it was themed after? <laughs> you, you forgot already? I mean, it was so long ago. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, Almost five years. Yeah, that's very long. Uh, but, yeah, uh, that's really cool stuff. And so yeah. they're the, as far as children go... Uh, what what do they classify as children? Like, is it you know four years old? Because like, you know, I think the CDC classifies anything after three, up to three is a toddler, and then four years old right. up is child, or four years to like twelve or four to eighteen. Yeah. What, what? Um, I think it. I think it depends on the kid. I think, but I think both of those theaters, I believe the youngest they've had is a four, is a four-year-old kid. Okay. Um, I believe typically it's more like five, but um, like you, like you said, a four-year-old is kind of more like a kid yeah. than a toddler anyway. So um, as young as four, and then after when you turn 18, they boot you out? Pretty much, yeah. Right. Because I think that there is a rule with some show rights, especially in junior shows, mm -hmm. that you cannot go past 18. Okay. Um, or I think once you turn 18, right. you can't 
do a junior show anymore. Mm -hmm. Now, I know Tuscaloosa Children's Theater, I know that they have done shows in the past, like if they did a full show, like when they did Seussical or when they did Beauty Beauty and the uh, Beast, the, the uh, very first time it wasn't a junior version. And I think they did have a college student or two that were in it. Okay. So, um, but they were like young college age. Right. They were not like, you know, seniors or anything like right. that. Okay. But uh, junior shows are a totally different story. Okay. And but as you get older, you you know get into being a teenager, and you can start going into the other shows. Yeah. The other, uh, perform. Uh, other theaters, <laughs> words, they're, they're important. They're, they mean they're hard. Yeah. They're also hard. Uh, so, and there are options at that point. There's basically two, more, two options. So you go yes. from two options as a kid to two options as, as an adult. Right. You have the Actors Charitable Theater and Theater Tuscaloosa. Okay. What do they have like a, anything that distinguishes them one from the other officially? And then do they have anything that distinguishes them from each other? Just that's how the actors see it. That is a really good question. And I don't really know what the right answer to that would be. The only thing that I can think to say would be that one theater Tuscaloosa has been around a lot longer uh, it used to be, it was mainly just Tuscaloosa Children's Theater and Theater Tuscaloosa. Those are really the only two theater groups right. that were in town. And it was pretty much, you know, kids go to Tuscaloosa Children's Theater. Adults go to Theater Tuscaloosa. If they, if Theater Tusk ever did a kid's show, like they did Annie, Peter Pan, Best Christmas Pageant Ever. If kids were involved, then kids could obviously and should go try out for it right but it was strictly this is adult theater this is children's theater then you had the act appear which i believe was around gosh it was when i was in middle school so maybe 2006 to 2008 i think they started around that time so early to uh thousands is when they started okay. i believe and um they they did a lot of kind of like a combination of adult and kids. They would honestly do a lot more shows that involved kind of both groups. A lot more, I felt like. Right. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, another thing that I've noticed is both groups do musicals and plays. Uh, those who do not know, uh, musicals are shows with music. Original names. Uh -huh. And plays or straight plays are shows that don't have any music in More it. More Shakespearean style. Right. So like Shakespeare shows, uh, Raisin in the Sun, To Kill a Mockingbird. Right. Shows like that. Um Whereas musicals have all these big music and dance numbers in them. They're um, ridiculous and over the top. And if you can't tell by just hearing that, they started in America. <laughs> yep, they were a big American thing, weren't they? Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, sorry, the uh, point that I was getting to was um, I have noticed that Theater Tuscaloosa does a lot more plays than the act does and the act tends to do a lot more musicals in their season okay. than theater tusk does now both of them do both right but that's something that i've observed they just tend towards one or the other right which means all the people who like to be in musicals more will most likely be at the act more that makes sense right and conversely you know, yes the straight plays for the Tuscaloosa Theater. Now, that is not saying at at all that like that the act does better musicals than Theater Tuscaloosa right, or it's... Theater Tuscaloosa does better plays because Theater Tuscaloosa puts on amazing musicals. It's, yeah, and it's the not... act does great plays too. So it's not about the 
quantity or sorry right. it's not about the quality as much as it is yeah. about the quantity yeah that makes sense and then the so i know that the act has their theater out behind holt high school mm -hmm. that is their their new building right so they have their building uh the and theater tuscaloosa do they they still perform over at yes uh, the bean brown theater mm -hmm. in the bean at, brown theater that's inside shelton state community clock sorry it's in shelton state community college right okay and they're still there although uh, i think there was some flooding so yeah they, uh, they're working on getting back into there right uh, but they should be back in there like honestly i think they're gonna be back in there very soon yeah i think uh like maybe we, we, i think we learned about that when we yeah. spoke with uh miss uh miss carol carol thank yes. you names words <laughs> this is why i don't like to record it's been a hard after, week this is why i don't like to record after work <laughs> uh <clears throat> But yeah, so, okay, so we have those two stages, then Theater Tuscaloosa 10, uh, sorry, T Words. Tuscaloosa Children's Theater. They are always at the Bama Theater. They're, okay. The historic Bama Theater. Downtown, love, love that location, great mm -hmm. location. And it's a gorgeous theater. My yeah. gosh, just going in there. It's yeah. beautiful, beautiful theater. Maybe we can get a tour on video sometime. Oh, yeah, that would be, awesome. that would be nice. Okay. And so they're at the Bama Theater, so they must rehearse somewhere else and then go to the Bama Yes, uh, Tuscaloosa Children's Theater used to. They would practice at either a school or they would practice at, you know, just another place. And it would change, you know, with, with each show. But now they have their, their very own building now. Nice. And it's a really nice space. They have a space for choreography and music and And since you're really teaching nice space. since yeah. you're teaching uh, voice lessons out there, maybe you can do a tour. Yeah. Sometime. Yeah, no. Absolutely. That would be awesome. And then the fourth one was a uh, Tuscaloosa Theater Troupe. Yes. And they perform over at the church, the church of, at Tuscaloosa, yes. right? Mm -hmm. it, which, which is, is in the Northport area. Right. Okay, and, but since they do camps, you know, it's during the week on during the summer, so right. it, it doesn't get in the way of the church functions. Exactly. So that makes total sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, cool. So some good options. Uh, I've seen performances by everyone except I haven't seen anything by done by Tuscaloosa Children's Theater. Really? Uh, the only the one that I was going to go to see was the one that you directed. Babes in Toyland. And I got stuck in Mexico yeah. uh, on a project for work, and I was very upset. Yeah, no, I, I, I remember you being very, very upset about it, and pretty much telling me like, "This is the worst thing. I hate this." I wanted to be there. I also helped edit the uh, vlogs that they did, so you know, yeah. I was helping out from Mexico, and then I didn't even get to see it. Yeah next time right i'll make sure to, to get out there because that's the one that i haven't seen so i've been i've helped out or i've seen tuscaloosa theater troupe a few times took mm -hmm. peter to see that i'm in a show now yeah with, uh, with the act you are I you am, are in it i am music directing yeah. well, uh, i proposed to you with theater tuscaloosa, theater tuscaloosa once upon a mattress and uh I haven't even seen a show by uh, Tusk TCT. We need to fix that. So I got to fix that. We should, uh, well, we were wanting to see as many shows as, as we could anyway so that we can talk about yeah. all, of, all of the shows on this podcast. Um, so maybe Elf will be your first Tuscaloosa Children's Theater show. Who knows? Although, uh, if you cannot tell on a screen or if you are uh, just hearing us and you're not seeing us, I am super pregnant. Uh, I have three weeks until my scheduled C-section. So I guess we will have to see how, like, how I'm healing to see if we can even go to Elf Junior. But fingers, fingers crossed. Yeah, this is going to be a very interesting holiday season. I'll be nice and healed season. up. 
So, all right. All right. Well, I think that's everything that we needed that we were going to talk about for uh, going over the four. Yeah. Uh, around here, of course, those are just the community theaters. There are also so plenty of so many groups. There are also plenty of uh, high school theaters and, that put on shows for the that the general public can go see, and uh, you know. Uh, Shelton State has mm -hmm. a theater department. The University of UA. Alabama has a uh, theater department. Pretty but, much every single high school. But we're not planning to talk too much about those, except because right. you can't be part of that unless you're part of their organization, unless there's a show that's coming up, in which case, you know, we may gush over what we want to see. Yeah, absolutely. So, I good like deal. That. Well, we'll, uh, yeah. we'll be back next time. We're going to have an interview with yes. uh, the director Our very and first interview one of the leading ladies for the uh the show that we're able to be part of uh, something rotten at the actors charitable theater <laughs>